Now, if you track with the channel, of course you know where we are. This is Onki, the home of Onki Overdrive. But we're here to see a new tech toy today in the form of Cosmo. And, oh, well, he's here now, so perhaps what we should do is let Cosmo take a lead and follow him. So, where should we go, Cos? <laughs> So Cosmo leads us to the Onki Canteen, needs a little rest after his trek to the office. We're going to be looking at a full unboxing of Cosmo as well as seeing what he makes of some other Toys to Life games. But first, he was keen to show us what he could do. Now as Cosmo trundles off his charger, thanks, he's showing us his app that not doesn't control him, but is our interface and our way to get to know him better. Because he is an autonomous, living, breathing robot. He makes decisions, he does his own sort of thing. As you can see, pops a wheelie here and then wiggles around. And he's really nimble. I was really impressed with the kind of disarming connection as he looks up at you and he recognises you and says your name. And he then follows your, follows your eye, keeps eye contact as you move around the room. There's a load of ways to interact with Cosmo, one of which is this quick tap game, where Cosmo makes eye contact and tries to fake you out. If we just rewind that, you can see him making a little gesture towards his cube to try and make me go for mine as well. Of course, I'd lose a point. As we carry on, he ends up winning that round. What we're gonna do next is a full unboxing of Cosmo as he'll appear at retail. So we'll just slide this off and we'll see Cosmo out of his packaging and ready to go. Up close to the camera, there's lots of elements to, to note here as we look round. So his robot arms there can lift and manipulate um, objects in the environment, so how he interacts. There's a little sensor on the front to see how close he is um, to you and to the things he's going to be playing and working with. Now these are really interesting. There are three cubes that Cosmo can recognize. He knows where they are and he does all sorts of things with them. He likes to stack them. He's a little bit possessive over them as like they're kind of his toys. They have batteries of their own as you can see. You just pull that tab and it gets them going. And it's a big part of how you interact with Cosmo. So fully unboxed, here we have Cosmo. Um, in the hand he gets a little bit frustrated when you pick him up. He wants to be on the desk and have control to go where he wants. Of course, you can see his little lifters there to manipulate the cubes. He has those caterpillar tracks to keep him moving around the area. Little sensor on the front. I want to see how he copes if we put him down upside down. They're not very nice. A little roly-poly gets himself the right way up. But what I like about Cosmo, he doesn't always do the same thing. And so here, yeah, he doesn't quite make it round. It gets rather frustrated as he wants to right himself. <laughs> it's a little tantrum. But then, I think, yeah, here we go gets himself the right way up and again is checking to see who's in the room looking up with his camera so there you go this is the full packaging for Cosmo that will be $179 when it launches on October 16th um, you get the robot of course you get those free power cubes and you also get the charger Cosmo didn't want to just stay out of his box though and we let him out into explore mode. Now, woo, this is where he'll look around the table, see what's in the environment and build a map of what's around him. As you can see, whoa, he has a sensor underneath that just manages to keep him away from edges. He can also decide to do stuff. Now the cube here has gone green. That means he wants to do something with it. What's he going to do? Oh yeah, it looks like he's going to roll it. So he's quite possessive over the orientation and the direction of his cubes and likes to manage them and gets excited when he manages to do it. Now this third cube's gone green, so he's obviously going to do something with it. It looks like we're aiming to stack these two up so he identifies where those two cubes are. Yes, and gets it in and I think we'll see a little celebration. Yep, Cosmo's excited to get that right. Before we left Cosmo and headed out, I thought I'd see what he made of some of my other Toys to Life um, little friends which I brought along. Now, he seemed slightly perplexed as he looked at Skylanders Disney Infinity. He got some amiibo here. And of course, seeing him next to these static toys, it emphasizes all the more how playful and interactive Cosmo is. He didn't seem that impressed with what we had to show him. And before too long, decided to go and explore elsewhere to see where his cubes were. So there you go, that's our overview of what it's like to first encounter this new little robot tech toy. As we said, it will be 179 and out on October the 16th. If you want to find out more about Cosmo, do subscribe because we've got a lot more videos coming up, an in-depth look at how Cosmo works.